take a look at these videos online. All of these riders gave us permission to broadcast their hoverboard fails and look at how much they hurt. Oh gosh, and when you fall, it is kind of sudden. It just <laughs> almost is like you're on ice and your feet pop up. Then there are the injuries. That's a teenager. She broke her wrist in three places. That's a mom of three, very athletic, tore all the ligaments in her left ankle. They love the board. They don't love the broken bones and torn ligaments. I've seen people fall off the back of them and hit their heads. And um, I, I think you get on it and it just goes. And if you're not prepared for that, it's really dangerous. Okay, but is it any more dangerous than a skateboard? Coming up tonight at 11 o'clock, our big report. You're going to hear from a doctor who explains why he thinks it is. You're also going to hear from that mom. She's going to tell you the big mistake she made that caused her severe injury. And also, Seven on Your Side goes undercover to find out what salespeople will and won't tell you when you buy one of these guys. This one cost $450. That's on the cheap end. They can go as high as $1,500. Leon, that's your kind of ride. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> if it doesn't have a seatbelt, I don't think there so. There you go. She's good on that. <laughs> Woo, you're very brave. Thanks, nice really. going. I'm so glad you didn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. We'll see you at 11, okay? All right, still to come here on ABC 7 News at 5 o'clock, talk about window shopping. Find out what a for rent sale in a store window inspired one woman to do. And then a little later, we're taking a look at sanctuary cities in the midst of the immigration debate. What are they and how many do we have in our area? Ah, the answer to that coming up. With nearly 2 million twinkling lights, 150 shops, 30 restaurants,